It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern!
don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Time to move. Just in time. Pledge your swords to our cause! Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And you have His Majesty's answer. you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. Hoka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. You cock. <laughs> Benedict. 
Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> the front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. As always. <sighs> Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. to die here, Wyvern. Move! Stand 
ね。I told you before, you do not get to die here. If you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Two arms, then. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Keep them coming. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all. Your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Oh, to be so young and fleet of foot. You dodge that. Oh. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. 
Well, I'm waiting. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. I don't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Have at me, boy. Make proof of your strength. You're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. My disposal. Go on, Clive. Keep pressing. Just a little more. We believe in you. You're a damnably learner, Lord Rusfield. at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. <laughs> you are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Phoenix's flames are a gift. We mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I...? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. 
Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! Hey! <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua? You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. <sighs> Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. <laughs> 